we're doing the Q&A with Jamie and Carmen. So hello everyone. Uh, we've got a list of some questions that everyone has sent to us. And I've highlighted a lot of the personal ones just because I think they're fun and it kind of shows us and a little bit of our character and our quirkiness or mind thereafter. <laughs> Where did I first meet you? So Carmen and I, um, I had to think about this for some reason, but he we, has not seen these <laughs> questions. Just to let you know, I'm asking them randomly. Yeah. He's not. Seen so those. we met in Seattle. Um, Carmen and I were working at a restaurant called, what was it called? Daniel's Broiler um, Steakhouse <laughs> on Lake Washington. Uh, I was a valet and Carmen was a hostess. With an and, hostess. And um, and so that's that's where we met the chef. We were our stations were. Uh, both in between the kitchen and the chef actually had a hand in kind of getting us introduced to each other. Yeah. Um, Carmen also uh, had more skills with vehicles for some reason and would help with uh, parking the cars. Parking the cars if I didn't know how to turn on a fancy car that came into the restaurant. For some reason I knew how, so that probably got Jamie going. Yeah. yeah. I'm assuming this question is what we do in our typical day during COVID. So what are you doing during your typical day right now today? First thing I do is I take our children from Carmen because they are pretty much attached to Carmen. Um, 24 seven. We have breakfast and I have coffee. Sometimes I make them hot, hot chocolate or something. Um, once Carmen has risen, risen from, the from dead. her beauty sleep, <laughs> um, Either I or Carmen, depending on the day, one of us will go for a run um, and and get some exercise. Yeah. Um, I've got I've always been into running, but I'm especially into running now because there's not a lot to do aside, you know, when you're social distancing. And then and then we get stuck into to emails and work and and just you know try and find ways to get in our work. Um, and even, you know, the work even sometimes starts at breakfast time. It's whenever the kids are distracted and doing right. something else. Carmen We're and I are on our laptops as and often trying as to do some work. Um, so, um, you know, and then that kind of continues the day and then there's nap time and then lunch That's time. Work, and nap time is work time. Nap time is work time. And then um, dinner time is dinner time. And then we put kids to sleep as soon as possible. And then we hit <laughs> conference calls um, we, until probably yeah. around 11 midnight. So. We, do, we do try and find, uh, you know, we're in Seattle um, and we were in Canada before this. And we do try and find some time to be outside in the park, uh, at a park, you know, we're in, you know, where we are in Seattle now, we're, we're just going to every park that you know, we'll look on a map and go that'll go allow to that us park in <laughs> and and you know go to the park and, and run around for a bit let yeah. the kids get some energy spent so. Um, when I was younger um, I had a lot of interest in uh, in architecture and um, you know, I used to draw homes when I was a kid and look at floor plans of, of like architectural magazines and I would copy them and probably dream about living in those homes one day. Um, so I think if, if I had gone down a different career path, um, and, and you know, not to say if I would do it over, but I'd probably tell my younger self, like go get that architecture degree and go be an Really? Architect. Interesting. Um, yeah, that yeah. would be probably what I would have done. Uh, I, I didn't do architecture because I read somewhere that it was, um, it was highly competitive and you yeah. know the potential for earnings was not as great as business and so I was like well I'd like to earn some money so I ended up making that decision but I think you know if I had you know advice to my younger self would be follow your passion and, and uh, do what you love. Yeah. I think for myself I never I never saw myself going down a business path ever I was kind of pushed into it but it had worked out for the best. <laughs> Um, and I, I've said this before, I think more as a young adult and because we're from Seattle, I have a big passion for one day being able to help out with the Gates Foundation, um, which is a nonprofit organization to eradicate diseases or just better the world overall as a whole. And I think that continues to be a passion one day to maybe be able to consult or work with them in some way, shape or form. Um, that would just be very rewarding to me. So that that's more later in life discovery. This one's not on the list, but I'll just ask. Jamie, when do you think you'll get a haircut? <laughs> um, yeah, this is COVID hair. Because this <laughs> is just getting long. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Um, the answer's never, it's okay. Yeah. With a scale from pizza to beer, how much do you miss seeing all of your employees? <laughs> you have to answer like this. This is how these work. 
what on comes a scale to you? of pizza to beer, but I love both of those things. So, like, what? I don't understand the pizza. question. For me, it's pizza because beer makes you bloated. So I don't really like beer, but pizza, I love pizza. Uh, Haven't had pizza since lockdown. I, I so, no, I like beer is my my drink of choice. It's water and beer. That's pretty much all I drink. So, <laughs> wow. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, like beer. You know, I obviously, so all the answer is beer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's your favorite Tagalog word? Well, the one I use all the time because it's a uh, bad word. Our, <laughs> no, it's not. No, uh, I don't know why, but I just everyone. I, I actually learned this from from you know our team members in Booth and Partners is um, everyone always says ingat and oh, and ingat. so okay. and I just like that you know take care you know look after yourself I think is the translation in English. And um, so I would say that's probably my favorite, just because it's, I think it's just a nice way to say, take care. Um, and, and I feel like I'm connected to the, the Philippines that way in, in saying it to people. Well, that's nice. Great. Well, thank you. What about your favorite Tagalog I have, word? Well, I... Answer my... quickly, answer quickly, answer quickly. <laughs> I don't know. I like Mamser. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Uh, but I speak Tagalog. In my mind, I speak fluent Tagalog. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I don't, but I, I think I do. Yeah. Well, I, we won't get through the whole list, but we'll continue to answer these questions. So please sending them, keep sending them through. I think they're fantastic. Um, and I chose more of the personal ones just because I felt that it would allow you to get to know us a little bit better um, for those of you that have not met us in person yet. So we're not, we're not um, scary. <laughs> we're actually pretty fun, I think. By so, no means, I yeah. hope. Hope everyone's having a great day um, and we'll be chatting again soon. See you guys. Bye.